Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm going to be using some of these items from the Christina collection and this whole set is available with Craft Stash. So we'll make our base card and some mats for it from the actual complete card and box die set. Then we're going to use the original stamp collection that matched that set. We'll use the layered floral stamps and dies. We're going to use a couple of embossing folders. We'll create a frame and we're going to use a lovely verse from the large sentiments. So let's get busy and make the card. For today's card, we're going to be using some um, white vellum and I'm using Nina Desert Storm card. We're going to be stamping with white ink and embossing with white embossing powder. So I'm going to be using a stamping platform and this is the one from Tonic and Tim Olds. And I'm going to be using the large rose from the Flowers and Tags Sentiments plus the three leaves. And then from this set I'm going to be using the leaves that are in there and I'm going to put them into my platform. And once I have these laid out I'm going to pick them up with the lid and I'm going to stamp them with white ink. So I'm just removing fingerprints from the vellum and then we're going to ink these up with the white ink and stamp them onto the vellum and to make sure that I have a good impression I'm going to do it again. And you can stamp as many of these flowers and leaves as you want for your own project. But you're just going to repeat the same process. Ink up the stamps with the white ink and sprinkle them with white embossing powder. So once I've done that, I'm going to use a white pencil. I'm keeping the point on the pencil very sharp. So I have my pencil sharpener here. I've got some blending solution and I have a paper stump. Now all I'm going to do is colour in these, um, these flowers and leaves, but I'm not doing it from the right side. This is the side that's embossed. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to work on the wrong side. And all I'm doing is just colouring all these petals and leaves in with the pencil until it's all covered. pencil down onto the flowers. I'm just going to take my paper stump. Now you can just use a paper stump if you wish and just blend that in with the stump. But I'm going to use some blending solution and I'm going to bring the camera in really close so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm taking a little of the blending solution and I'm just going to blend this colour out to the ends. And that takes away all the pencil strokes in the white colouring.
base card, take your A4 piece of card and fold it in half. Then with the card making element to the die set, place the non-cutting edge over the open ends and that will give you two pieces of card. Then you need to score one of them back by about half an inch at the top, add the glue and join the two together and that will give you a card that will stand in tenth fold. Staying with the Desert Storm card, I've taken the stitched mat and I've cut another piece that will sit along the bed. And then with the uh, nesting rectangles, I'm taking the largest die and the one with the scalloped edge and I'm going to run those through my machine and that will give me a frame that looks like this. This frame I'm going to emboss in the flourish folder. So once I have this piece cut and then bossed, I've just cut down some foam that's going to sit on the back and that will raise it up from my card. Now into that space I want to stamp my sentiment. So I've taken with love and best wishes from the large sentiment set and to make sure that I place it in the right position I'm just adding both of these to my stamping platform. Now I want my verse in this top right corner. So I'm just going to pop it in there then I can remove the frame and pick this up with the lid. And now I'm going to stamp it with Versamark and sprinkle it with white powder. pretty card done in neutral colours with white vellum and desert storm Nina card. These are the items that I've used and they're all available with craftstash.co.uk. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.